water is a precious shared resource and groundwater makes up three quarters of all licensed water use in Western Australia. In the Perth Peel region, it's an integral part of our drinking water supply and groundwater from bores is used to irrigate crops, household gardens, parks and public open spaces. Groundwater also supports local lakes, wetlands, bushland and urban trees. And in our schools, it's used to reticulate gardens, green spaces and sporting grounds. However, climate change has significantly reduced rainfall across the southwest of Western Australia, which means there's less rainfall to recharge our groundwater systems. The Department of Water and Environmental Regulation is responsible for the management of our water resources. Water licences help us manage groundwater use sustainably. The Department of Education's licences specify the amount of groundwater that can be drawn from the bores on your school's grounds. When we understand our water use, we are more empowered to manage it. And measuring how much your school uses is an important part of being more water wise. So that you can comply with state water use regulations and stay within the limits of your licence, school bores are fitted with metres that measure the volume of groundwater being taken. Your school is responsible for taking monthly metre readings and in this video we're going to show you how to read your metre correctly. And we'll also demonstrate how to submit the data in Water Online, our website for managing water licences and metres. You need to take your metre readings on the last school day of each month, and there may be more than one metred bore on your school grounds. Ensure that each bore's location, name and metre serial number is documented. This will help anyone else tasked with reading the metres know where to look. You'll have one of two types of metres for recording your school's groundwater use. To read the analogue type, record the black numbers only. Don't worry about the dials. With digital metres, record the number in the window, which will be in kilolitres or cubic metres. Log into Water Online with the username and password provided by the Department of Education's Environmental Services section. If you don't have these details, check with your school's manager of corporate services. Once you're logged in, click on the Licenses and Permits tab at the top of the screen, and a new page will pop up. Click on the instrument number. Another page will open with the details of your school's water licence. The serial number of your metre and bore name will be displayed at the bottom of the page. Click the Manage button at the end of this line. You will now see details of your past readings. Click on Enter a reading at the top of the list of actions on the right hand side of the screen. In the pop-up box, you should now select the date the read was taken and enter the metre reading. Click Enter Reading and you're all done. The pop-up box will disappear and your new reading will be added to the readings list. If you make a mistake, simply click the Amend button next to the incorrect reading in the readings list and you can correct your entry. Every water licence has a limit of how much water can be taken each year. To work out how much groundwater you are drawing each month, simply deduct the previous month's reading from the current reading. This will give you a total in kilolitres. One kilolitre equals a thousand litres, or one cubic metre of water. You can then check your annual usage against the allowance on the water licence for your school to make sure you aren't using too much. The meter is owned and managed by your school and should be regularly serviced to ensure that it remains in good working order. You also need to ensure that it is safe to read and not overgrown with grass, obstructed or difficult to get to. If you have any concerns that the water meter is not accurately recording flow or notice that the sprinklers are running but the meter reading isn't increasing between reads, then it's best to report the issue. 
To find out more about the water licence that covers your school's groundwater use, you can contact us or the Department of Education's Environmental Services section. Remember, keep a record of the location and serial numbers of water meters for your school. Record meter readings on the last school day of each month. And enter them online using your school's water licence and meter details. We all rely on our groundwater to prosper and grow, and our natural environment depends on it too, so we need to carefully balance its use. By accurately recording your school's groundwater use, you are playing an important part in helping us to manage this most vital and valuable natural resource.